I want to share something that the Lord has recently shown me. Um, he is continuing to teach me that I need to watch my words. I need to be very careful which words I choose uh, to let come out of my mouth. He showed me recently that I had been cursing myself. And so this was an eye-opening situation for me. Um, it was an experience that made me understand a little bit better about how our words are so powerful, okay? And I want to come on and share this with you because um, I'm hoping that what, what I went through in my situation may help someone with their situation, okay? So this is not, this is not a particular word from God that he wants me to release um, as a prophetic word like I normally do on here. It is a testimony video of what he has shown me and I believe that is going to be beneficial to some people. Okay, so I'm just going to pray real quick. Lord, as I talk about what has happened, I pray that you cover my words uh, with your grace, God. And as I speak about what happened, as I, and I, as I say the words, as the words come out of my mouth, I pray that you cover it with your grace, for I am only trying to relay the story um, as a testimony to your goodness, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So... For several months now, several months, every single Saturday, I would get a horrible headache. Um, I would wake up with a horrible headache every single Saturday uh, for several months now. And after it had happened a few times in, the row, in a row, I started becoming suspicious, like, what is going on? I started becoming frustrated. And so each time I would wake up on a Saturday morning with a headache, um, I would, I would be like, okay, it's, it's happening again. Like it's happening again. And, and sometime throughout the day, I would say something, okay, to the effect of out of frustration, I would say every Saturday I wake up with a headache what is going on? And I would let these words come out of my mouth. Every Saturday I wake up with a headache. Okay. And I wasn't saying it to curse myself. I was saying it out of frustration. Okay. So, um, I was voicing my frustration, r frustration, and it was even voicing a truth because yes, it was truly happening. It was really happening. I was voicing the truth. Okay. A couple weeks ago, I was down in Branson and I was having a, um, a mini vacation with my children. And Saturday morning, I woke up with an extremely horrible headache. And, um, So once again, I voiced my frustration. Uh, I, I wake up with a headache every Saturday morning. What is going on? Okay, I voice this frustration. It comes out of my mouth. And after going through this for several months, the Lord had had enough. Um, he, he, he told me I was cursing myself. I was cursing myself each time that I let these words come out of my mouth. I was putting a curse on myself. And that's why the next Saturday it would happen all over again. Because I had declared it to be so. It blew me away. Okay, because I have always been the type of person to 
give voice to frustrations or pain or, um, you know, being agitated or anything. I, I vocalize things. Okay. And so to have something, to have the Lord tell me that I was the problem, that I was cursing myself and I was making this happen over and over and over again, it blew me away. Look, it doesn't matter the intent behind the words, okay? Because my intent was not to cur- curse myself. My intent was only to voice frustration. And it was I was actually voicing something that was true. So I wasn't coming into agreement with a lie. But I was, I was declaring something out of my mouth. And... Because it, it, it came out of my mouth, then the enemy can grab a hold of that and bring it to pass, okay? He doesn't care. The enemy doesn't care about um, the intent of your heart. He doesn't care if you're just... Um, voicing frustration. He doesn't care if you really meant it or not. You know, all he cares about is that the words come out of your mouth because once you declare it, then he has the authority to grab hold of it and run with it, with what you have said. Because once it comes out of your mouth, that you're giving him the authority. You're giving the authority. The words themselves have authority. Okay, Proverbs 18:20 says, "Life and death are in the power of the tongue." Life and death. Okay? In my situation, it was headache. Headache is in the power of a t- of the tongue, and it was I mean, seriously, it was that plain and clear. Your headache is in the power of your tongue. So, the Lord had me repent um, of the words that came out of my mouth, the words that I had let come out of my mouth uh, for several months, every single week for several months. Okay. He had me repent of it. He also had me break the curse that I had put on myself in the name of Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um, this past Saturday, I woke up and it was 90% better, 90% better. Um, why not a hundred percent? I don't know, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pray over it again. I am going to declare freedom from the curse again. And, and I have full confidence that sun or that Saturday morning, in just a few days, this Saturday morning, I'm going to wake up feeling very good in the name of Jesus. I just want to share this to give you, to give someone, to give you a real example of what really did happen because of the words that I let come out of my mouth. Voicing a frustration and because I declared it, it came to pass. Because I declared it, there was authority for it to come to pass. We need to watch our words, family. We really need to watch our words. Because if it works this way, and the Lord is showing me that it does, um, I, I believe he has more to show me about this area, and I'm just starting to understand. I've always known that our words are powerful, right? But until you, <laughs> until you have the Lord tell you that you've been cursing yourself, like, like there is a disconnect there until you, you actually experience something like this. There's a disconnect and I, and I'm thankful. I'm so thankful for how he uses situations in our life to, to, to 
uh, teach us lessons and to teach us how he has created things to work and how the, he has created the spiritual realm to work and how he has created our words to work. If our negative words have that much power, think about how much power our positive words have. Let's take it one step further. If our negative words have that much power, think about how much power there is when we partner together with God's word and declare out scripture. Because his word is pure truth. His word has all of the power of God backing it. When we declare out scripture, when that comes out of our mouth, think about how much power that has. Okay, that's all I really wanted to share. I hope that it has blessed you. I hope that it helps you. If you're going through a similar situation, please bring it before the Lord and ask them how you can ask him how you can change your words to be more in line with his will for your life. Sometimes even when we declare something that is true, doesn't mean it has to come out of our mouth. Um, cause there's, there's power in our words. I love you guys.